How's it going? I'm back, ready to finish my Mario game. Uh, it's been a while. Let's play this, Luigi. Or maybe we should just finish off with Mario. We're gonna finish off with Mario, I think. We're, we're, we're like basically practically done. God, I've been watching a lot of video. That's pertaining to whether Starfield sucked as a game, and it did suck. It absolutely sucked as a game. Come on, guys, let's be honest. I've been playing Bethesda games since like Skyrim, I think. You probably think, that's not enough Bethesda games, you need to play more. Like, that was enough for me, honest to god. That was enough. Anyway, I was watching those Starfield videos about people complaining about Starfield not being like a fun game. And I've been reading the comments of certain videos where they uh, very adamantly defend those games. Like, how could you say that? Starfield isn't that bad. I was watching that one video where... Uh, I forgot his name, but he uh... He holds like a bouncing ball basically, or is it a balance ball? Or a yoga ball basically, and he just explains like his position on why he thinks it's like a... On why he thinks it's like an outdated formula. And he basically just brought up everything I already agreed with. Alright, I just, I felt, when I, when I first played the game, I returned it. Like when I first bought Starfield, I returned it, and I was like, this is ridiculous, I'm not having fun. But then I, I repurchased it because... I saw other- I died. I saw other people that were playing it, and I'm gonna get the, uh, probably the this block right here. Uh, I saw other people that played the game, and they were, like, having fun. And I'm like, maybe, you know, I was like, maybe I'm being unreasonable, you know? Maybe I'm- Okay, I died. Uh, let's grab the vine. I'm gonna keep dying. I thought, maybe I'm being unreasonable, you know? Maybe my expectations are, like, maybe, like, I'm- maybe I'm crazy, you know? I had a I had a cut there for like a probably a couple seconds or something. I don't know. I had a cut. Uh, <laughs> this is the very next day. I had issues with the. I had some issues, you know. I, I had some issues. A lot of noise coming from my end. I just decided to record another time. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, I, I saw more Starfield news, obviously. They were adding a new update supposedly to fix the problems with Starfield, and there are some a lot of problems I feel with Starfield. Like I think the main problem is is that it's really really like. Ridiculous what they did with it, dude. They like there's no transportation in the game And like you're like, oh, there is there's spaceships like no, 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 that's fast travel The spaceships are fast travel Okay, and there's already too much fast travel in the game the method of the method of travel in the game is just basically let's walk for like 30 minutes and You go from like place to place walking and it's so terrible, dude. It is it, it really is. I just felt like it was dumb. I wish Starfield was a lot better than it is right now. Like, that's, that's like a fact. I wish it was better than it is now. Because it's not. Let's be perfectly honest. The game could be better, but it's not. Why? I don't know why. I, I feel like Starfield just really... Really screwed the pooch, to be honest. You know? I feel like they screwed the pooch. Like, the game... Was... It's not as good as the other ones. That's like number one. Like number two, like what 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 unique creatures are there? Like I don't feel like there's any unique creatures. They all feel boring. The terror morphs, I've only encountered them once. I stopped playing after a while, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm being unfair, but at the same time, no, I'm not. <gasps> oh, this is like dominoes. That's awesome. Is there anything else gaming related that I could talk about right now? While I let me check. Oh, they canceled E3. Oh yeah, there's no more E3. That's so sad. I loved E3. I really like watching the games there. That was really just where I got my game trailers or my game information usually was in E3. Now it's like they do it whenever they want, which is okay too. I love the internet, but still, E3 was really fun to watch. There was some good E3s. There was a lot of terrible E3s though. I, I always remember that Ubisoft had the worst with their uh, their their dance dance uh, game trailers where the people would come out and dance and it felt so... I felt like a pit in my stomach of cringe. I was like, ugh, and I just, I would just make that noise where I go, ugh, God, I just, I hope they get paid well for that. <laughs> That's all I could think was like, oh man, I, like, ah, oh, I hope you guys are getting paid because that is just, that looks terrible to be in. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they're happy about it, man. I don't know. Oh my God, that's adorable. Man, E3's done. Starfield is a. Not a fun game to play. I mean, it's not that it's not. Uh, this is the this is the weird part. Like, there's some people out there that are defending it so hard. Like, 
you could you could say it's like you like the game but if you say it's it's fine the way it is it's wrong <laughs> not fine the way it is the game could be a lot better oh, and i'm missing a way to get over there aren't i the game starfield could be a much better game if they you know if it looks like they actually tested the game but they, it seems like they didn't or if they did test the game it seems like they didn't listen to the notes like really walking from point a to point b on a planet like why do i have to walk you know it's like so long on a planet right with nothing really to do but just walking you know it seemed so unnecessary to me like i like exploring on a planet too you know i'm not gonna say i don't and the, what are the rewards really like a little bit of xp it was always just a little bit of xp it seemed too much dude too much too much planet it was too many planets and it was like what a thousand planets everybody i know i I've, I've been saying that it should have been like maybe like one solar system like 10 15 planets maybe and they should have focused on that but would they have ever done that probably not you know who knows i haven't even beat starfield man like i'm honestly like i should probably play that game but i really i just don't have it i don't have the what is it in me i don't have it in me dude i don't feel like playing it I, I think my favorite Bethesda game has, has got to be still... Not even Bethesda game, my favorite Fallout game was always Fallout New Vegas. That was so much fun. Who's funding Bowser's, like, chips? I'm like, I'm wondering now, because he steals everything and nobody trusts him. So, like, does he have, like, a loan? Does he have, like, a access to, like, to minerals or something? Because this seems like a lot of money he's throwing down the drain. Especially if it's all getting broken down by a plumber. <laughs> but I thought the star could stop me from burning in lava. I thought I would walk. Like Jesus. <laughs> you know, like Jesus. Jesus walked. He walked so hard. <laughs> it's not hard enough, man. Jesus could walk on water, but not magma. <laughs> like. Really? A coin? <laughs> oh! How many lives? How many lives? All my lives! Oh my life! I remember I used to watch Home Improvement as a kid. Oh god, I'm gonna keep dying. Anyway, I used to watch Home Improvement as a kid. I remember watching that one guy. And every time he'd say, Move that boss! And every time I see those kids get like these awesome rooms with like cool like cool like cool stuff like bunk beds and all this cool stuff I was like man that's so cool Now as an older person I'm like man I, I, all I can think about is like damn that's dumb as hell <laughs> That is ridiculous <laughs> Who would want to Who would want the that? <laughs> that's just the sign of the times man That's just the sign of the times Move that bus and then it's just some piece of it's 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 nonsense <laughs> it really is just nonsense god who would want that dude honestly like these they, i remember they had like spaceship bunk beds and you're like oh wow that sounds cool it's not <laughs> it really isn't no i wonder what this does oh it's a dragon whoa that is cool it's like Zelda. Remember Zelda? When you wrote the dragons? Oh, those beautiful, beautiful dragons. Oh, I love them all. <laughs> I love every single one of them equally. <laughs> and he does beat the bubble dragon, dude. Oh, that is so kick ass, man. Oh, he's doing a loop. Yeah, the power of the dragon is with me. Wonder is he go? That was beautiful. I love that. That was awesome. Dragon. I wish you took a picture when I was riding the dragon. That was cool. Got him. Oh my god. Dragon by the tail and throw him out of the castle, Mario. Oh, no? Yeah? Alright. I guess you can't do anything cool, Mario, huh? Are you gonna, you're gonna let the, the, the son of a dictator run away? I wouldn't. I wouldn't let that slide. Not one bit. <laughs> I'll take him out here and now. You're telling me there's a castle in the in the magma with flowers? That's pretty not true. That doesn't seem very consistent with reality. <laughs> Unless it's like flower kingdom magic or something like flower plants are stronger than fire. <laughs> I don't know. All right, that's enough. I'm gonna go have a good one. Take care of yourselves. I hope you enjoyed. 
I'm gonna save the game and I'll be back next time to take on Bowser and his evil plans to take over the Flower Kingdom. Not even kidnapping Peach this time, he's just doing his own thing now. Like, to be fair, I've only played the Mario where he does kidnap Peach. So anytime he doesn't, I'm very confused. I'm like, what are you doing, Bowser? This isn't your MO. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Have a good one.